What do you need to rig a flotation system? You need ABS floats with a center hole, Persane floats or whipping rope which will be used as buffers between the ABS floats, sinking rope such as nylon or leaded polypropylene rope, whipping twine, a protective plastic hose sheath, and a stiff rope such as curalon or a steel wire. It will be used as a messenger line. And here is a recap for you. You will notice that the number of floats and the rope lengths relate to the intended deployment depth. In our case, we have set parameters for a depth of 1,500 meters. Before rigging the flotation system. I see that you are rushing to rig the flotation system, but not too fast. One, make sure that the float center holes are smooth. And two, prepare the appropriate number of rope lengths. The recommended way to unwind a whole coil of rope is to use a turntable or a suspended rig. What? You don't have a turntable? Okay, no problem. You can still unwind it directly from the coil, but you need to do it correctly. The proper way to uncoil the rope is to unwind it anti-clockwise from the inside tag end of the coil. To do this, you will need to flip the coil of rope over, pull the inside tag from the bottom of the coil up through the center of the coil and proceed with unwinding it anti-clockwise. If you don't follow the steps correctly, you will notice that it quickly creates tight loops. How to rig a flotation system? A polypipe sheath can be added to protect the rope against the shafe of the surface floats. Secure one end of the curulon rope to the nylon main rope. It will be used as a messenger cord. Attach a small spike or a piece of steel rebar to the other end. This will help pass the curulon rope through the hose sheet. Pass the messenger cord through the hose, then pull on the messenger cord to guide the nylon rope through the hose. This can take a lot of time and effort if the difference in hose and rope diameter is less than 5 mm. To make it easier, pour liquid soap into the hose. Now pass the protected rope through the floats. Here are two main ways to fix the floats along the flotation system. For the first one, you just need to use Persane floats which will act as buffers between each pair of ABS floats. The second one requires several steps and patience. The general idea is to whip several turns of polypropylene rope around the main line between each pair of ABS floats. 30 centimeters of whipping should suffice. Step 1. Lay about 50 centimeters of the whipping rope over the main rope. Step 2. Using the longer length, make several turns around the main rope. Step 3. Make a loop. Step 4. Do another series of turns over the loop and around the main rope to bring the total length of the whipping to around 30 centimeters. Step 5. Pass the tag end into the formed loop and pull the other end of the rope. Step 6. Attach the loose ends together with whipping twine. And finally, repeat the operation between each pair of buoys. Now that all the buoys and buffers are in place, carefully protect the main rope from the cutting ends of the polypipe. 1. Slit the polypipe on two sides and fold it back to itself at each end. 2. Hold it in place with electrical tape. 3. Whip twine around the main rope where the polypipe sheath ends. The whipping should cover about 10 cm on either side of the end of the hose. And 4. Whip the end of the slit hose tight. How to add aggregators? Only use biodegradable materials as aggregators. 
If using manila rope, connect the aggregators directly between the ABS floats. If using coconut fronds, attach several split fronds together. and attach them to the main rope. 